the morning. Good morning. This is praise and Friday. Good morning. Come on in. Come on in. I see you, Marisha. You're praising early this morning. That's the way we do it at the prayer breakfast on Friday mornings. Come on. Let me see you. Praise God. I see you, Vanessa Gilbert. Come on in. Come on in. It is praise and Friday. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's praise and Friday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, Captain Thomas. I see this is that. Jerry, I see you. Good morning, Amelia. Morning, Keisha. Morning, Angela. I see you. I see you. Come on. I see you. Good morning, Vanessa. Good morning, Sister Lee. Good morning, Sister Rosa Bell, Sister B. Good morning, good morning, still in Jornel. Good morning, good morning, Trisha. I see you. Come on, let me see you give God some glory on this morning. Today is Raising Friday. Yes, good morning, Sister Lee. Yes, yes. Morning. Yes, yes. Yes. Today's the third, I believe. Yes, for sure. Right, cool, Pastor. Yes. Come on, we're already moving in this month. Yes, God, lead us and guide us. Yes, good morning, Georgia. I see you. Good morning. I see you. I see you, Amanda. Carolyn, I see you. Yes, it's praise and Friday. You better wake somebody up and let them know it is praise and Friday. We made it through another week. Oh, glory to God. And walked out of another month. Thank you, God. I see you, I see you, I see you. Yes, Patricia, I see you. You better go run around James House, Patricia, and wake him up this morning. I see you. Yes, yes. I see you, Sandra. Oh, Pastor, after you preached that awesome sermon last night, I thought you'd be tired this morning. Lord, help us out. Oh, you got you. Oh, Pastor, you going already this morning. So love this. this. <laughs> Good morning to each and every last one of you. Come on, let's praise God. Wow. It is Friday, it's God. It's September crazy. 3rd. Praise the Lord. We got a lot of Smith to say, Praise the Friday. Praise the Friday. Come on, Bishop. Come on, put it out of here. It's Praise the Friday. That's right. Praise the Friday. That's right. That's right. Wake up. Come on now. I don't care what you've been through. I don't care what the doctor said. I don't care what the judge say. Guess what? It's praise and Friday. And our judge and our doctor. Oh my God. Sits high and looks down low. It's praise and Friday. Come on. Come on. In the house this morning. It's praise and Friday. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh huh. I'm not DJ George Fisher. And who was the other one that I'm making all day? Baby, but today, today, this morning is Faith and Friday. We're sitting at the breakfast table. We're waiting for you to come on in. Guess what? All the breakfast is free on this morning. Oh my God, even give us drinks too. We get we get some Dr. Boogie said, We got free drinks in the house. You go get some coffee, you go get some orange juice, you go get some milk on this morning. That's the God we serve. Come on in, it's Praise and Friday. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Yes, oh yes, 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 oh yes, 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 come on, praise him, this praise I'm trying to put it out there, oh. yes, yeah. a waterfall, Woo. I need to rush, Woo. my yes. God, if you can feel the electricity already in this room, oh my God, oh, we thank God for Jesus, my God, hallelujah, God is an awesome God, and once again, he woke us up early this morning, and we are so grateful for that, we are so grateful just for God, go ahead, go back, yes, Daryl, we've been praying for you, we didn't know where you were, son, we didn't know when that Ida passed, if you was out there with the rest of the men on that bridge, or what, but we've been praying for you, and I thank God giving us confirmation that you're okay, that you're showing yourself on this morning, wherever you are. And we'll continue on praying for your safety and My so God. many more that, that stays on that water working. We, we hope he's in right now. Because we have work for him to Stay do. hiding, Daryl. <laughs> Stay hiding. 
<laughs> my God, if God you, is good. They had it. My God, gonna put you to work. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning. Good morning. My God, my God. And, and Katrina, Pastor Katrina's voice. Good morning. Uh-uh. Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Oh my God, I couldn't stand that house. Glory be to God. Good morning. Yes. My God. Yes, yes, Shabbat, Lord Jesus. Yes, give me a, a boost on this morning. It was kind of rough, but hey, we be up and we running. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. You don't feel the rushing. Oh my God. Oh my God. When the presence of God sits on you, that's all she's saying. Oh, just let your spirit sit on us. Oh my God. Oh my God. I need to feel you. I need, oh, I need it. I need it. I need your guidance. I need your hands on me. Whatever it takes if you have to sit on me longer than what I fucking dress. Just sit on me. Consume me with that vibe. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Yes, Lord. Oh, this one shut up for sleeping, Bishop. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Hey now. Hey now. Waterfall, flow it on. Flow it on. Yes, Lord. We thank you, God. Yes, Lord, we thank you, God, on this God, morning. We thank God for Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. God yes, is so God. good. Pastor, God is. I could stay right there all, uh, all morning, Bishop. Yes, God. God is good. Once again, we are grateful to our Lord and Savior, Jesus yes. Christ, most holy, most high, mm. or oh, the everlasting Savior, the beginning and the end. Oh, God, God, he's matchless. Oh, God, no one mm. else is like our oh, my God. God. And we give him glory. We give him praise. We want to thank God for all of you uh, that was with Co-Pastor one last night. And uh, if you wasn't there in, uh, yes. in presence, your spirit was there and you was praying for her because on last night, Co-Pastor did an awesome oh job God. on last night. Oh awesome God. job. She, oh she walked the floor in the strength of God and in the power of his might. And I'm just so grateful how God uses her. Every time she go out, God bless you, co-pastor. Um, brothers and sisters, we are waking up once again with still a lot going on. Um, on this morning, co-pastor and I was pondering the thought about how we woke, we we're waking up. We we looked outside and everything is nice and peaceful outside, but there are so many. We start pondering about so many is in adverse condition. So many is waking up, yes. not in their own home. Yes. So many it, it, it has been displaced. Uh, yes. uh, so many has, is, don't know how they're going to make it. And we woke up this morning and, and we started to realize and understand a few years ago, it was us. Right. This year is somebody else. Uh, it, you know, the other day, some was waking up. I said, and even this morning, some waking up with someone died, whether of COVID or some other thing. and. Right. You know, one day is is is, is us. You know, Bishop. It reminds me of something. Yesterday, it, it just popped in my mind, and it and, and I remember a song when I was little. It said, "If it ain't one thing, it's another." And I had to actually go li- listen to that song. And when I listened, it was something I didn't grab when I was younger that I grabbed on yesterday. That song actually was part. I don't know if you want to call that R and B, and part. Uh, religious because it talked about his grandmother that set, used to sit him down when he was young and tell him son no matter grand was her grandson no matter what goes on in life how big you get in life don't you ever leave god out my god and and he he started running down some scriptures bishop mm-hmm. and i'm like I didn't know this song had this in it, but back then I wasn't where I am now. Yeah. So I didn't pick up or I didn't grab those nuggets that was being dropped off even by him my if God. he didn't realize what he was doing, my you God. know? But if it ain't one thing, it's another. It's, it's another. always something. So we we all go through some things in our Turbul- life and some turbulence. And now it's just their turn. So whatever you can do, I mean, 
from something very small to something very great. Whatever you can do, it'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, our cash app has been on uh, the screen since Bishop brought it up. Uh, we had people bringing things in at the church, you know, at both of the churches. The doors have been staying open so they can come and drop things off. Whatever you can do would be greatly appreciated. Me and Bishop went out there on yesterday. Tell we, you, know, we, you, we, you jumped at where we went. We went to home. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm living. I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm up running on. You know, I no sleep. Okay, we uh we went went access the land in Homa my and God. seen the damages oh and it's heartbreaking. And we went to see where we're gonna set up on Saturday. Uh, just everything. How we gonna do this thing? And we're just going with a big heart and a lot of love. And Bishop went talk to a couple of people. I went. They had a couple of people. Bishop said he looked for me. Next thing he knew, he said, "I know that's not my wife." Or that building talking to the people, they were all sitting outside against a, a storefront area. And I just went and spoke to them and told no them about to told them about uh what we were doing on Saturday and they were super excited that we were coming to bless, you know, the community and the area and the town. So whatever you could do would be greatly appreciated. Just hypothetically say, hey, I really don't have it because it, it, it was crunch down time this month and I really don't have it with school and everything. But Saturday, I'm not doing anything. Mm -hmm. What time are you guys leaving? Because I, I want to meet y'all there or I want to ride. If I can if I can grab a ride, I, I, I want to go and I want to do God. what I can do mm -hmm. to be a blessing to somebody else. It would be so much appreciated. So whatever you can do, we're just asking that you would do just that. And, and that's what it's all about. Each one reach one, everyone pitching in, right. doing their part. Right. Uh, we might can go on the grounds. You may can't go on the grounds, but whatever you do, when you send your prayers, when you. That's right. When, that's whatever right. You do, whatever you man, can do, God, we greatly appreciate God bless us all God of us. sees our heart. And that's, and that's the most important thing. He yeah. sees the willingness of it. My you know, God. like if I, I wish I could I, or I wish I had. God said that right there. That's enough right there. Uh, Joshua. Uh, had to go fight in the battle, down in the valley. Moses had to be on top right, of the mountain. Right. Some can go, some can go, but we all we work are, together. Right, and we understand, and yes, whatever you could do would be great. Oh my God. Appreciate. And listen, brothers and sisters, uh, we, we when we were seeing that on yesterday, the devastation that was going on, uh, you never know when it's your turn. Mm. You never know when it's going to be you. And right now, we are just exempt from it. They have a couple of people right now on the screen before we get into our lesson. There's a couple of people on the screen that's saying what is needed, you know, what it, if you need food, if, uh, besides water, what else you need. And yeah. you might just want to call out a few things, whatever you think that, yeah. whatever you know that we need. The, that. The, the things that we're trying to do, we're trying to get water out there now. We Right now, we're just trying to get as much water as we possibly can um, uh, right now. It's, it's no way, no means of cooking the food. Uh, because the butene, butene is at a shortage. Oh my um, God. Uh, it's no way, no electricity, uh, no water is going Can't jump in. in their cars and go. There's no gas. And yeah. the, the couple of gas stations that's open is lines oh. long as Methuselah. Oh my God. It's, uh, it, yeah, it's horrific. You can't get gas from New Iberia all the way to Homer coming this way. And from New Orleans coming back the other way. You cannot uh, get no gas from New Orleans to Homer or from uh, uh, New Iberia, Tacoma, you cannot get no gas. It is horrific. Or if you find one or two stations in between the this lines, is so oh. long, you're going to have to wait at least five hours to get your gas. So a hint to the wise ought to be sufficient, even though you're not from that area. If you work anywhere going towards that area, please fill up where you live. Fill up, fill, keep your car filled up because sometimes a, just the line traveling back and forth is really long. Uh, there's, you don't want to wait in the line for the gas because uh, you don't know how long you're going to be there. So fill up before you head to work going towards the 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 almost the Generette, Baldwin, Franklin, going towards all the way to New Orleans. You want to keep yourself, your tank topped off. Yes, indeed. And, and listen to me, God God richly bless uh, everything that you that you do. He richly bless everything that you do. What we're doing right now, we're going out there to feed. That's we're right. going out there to feed. That's right. We're going to really cook food right now. We have enough for uh, 1,200 people. Right. We have enough. Uh, we want to feed 1,200 people right, right now right. Uh, when we get there. That's right. what we have enough for. And I believe your desire is in a few weeks Two more to, weeks. to go back. Going. 
because you have to realize, I always tell this to people that lose, lose loved ones, right from the moment when they lose their loved ones, everybody's calling, everybody's going over there, everybody, you don't want to be around. But what happens two weeks later when everybody is gone? The house is cleared out, no more visitors, no more loved ones around, and you're there by yourself. And that's how they will be in two more weeks. You know, they, they won't have... FEMA or either other organizations or whatever, bringing in stuff or, or, or cooking for them. So those two weeks, they're going to be like, okay, we got to really try to find yeah. something for ourselves. Right. So in those two back. weeks, our desire, our desire is that right. we will go back in two more weeks we, to try to be an aid, to bring some amen. things out there, right? We, we already have it set up. So the things that, because some people was bringing in clothes for us. And for this time, we wasn't doing uh, the clothing, we were doing the food and the water uh, and stuff like that, giving out uh, uh, things that they can use to help them in the field. Right. Uh, so in two more weeks, we already have, we, we uh, found a location where we setting up that it have a warehouse in the back of us. And the gentleman has already, we walked through the warehouse, we're going to set whatever we have. And when two more weeks come, we're going to start, we're going to keep on picking up things and we're going to start di distributing uh, 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 non-perishable items and perishable items. Uh, because people in two more weeks, they're going to start getting themselves together. Right. Listen, we pick up the mantle where FEMA and Red Cross go. Because right. right. you don't know. We know. We know. Right. We were in that position. Right. We know right. how long and, it takes. And Bishop, not only that, we were in the line at FEMA to try to get food stamps. Yeah. We were trying to get some food or oh something God. or water. And guess what? They looked at us and said, y'all don't qualify. Oh my God. So what happened to those that they that that people look at and say, you don't qualify, but yeah. they don't live in the home. So they don't know the struggles within the home. So those people, those elderly people oh that God. maybe saved, saved up a little money or have a little backbone, but when they go, they say, oh, no, you don't qualify. So they are they're doing without, oh you know. We were talking to we were talking to one of the gentlemen uh, gentlemen on yesterday. He's a councilman in that area, and he took me around. Kobe yes. and I. He took us around yes. this area, mm -hmm. uh, and he said this. He says he says, listen. He said all of these people. He says all the trucks is uptown. Mm -hmm. He said all the trucks is uptown for FEMA and so forth. He said, but how these how they're going to get there? Cars with no gas in it. He said how they're going to get way uptown. Okay. But, but and, that that's why. We don't bank on people. We right. bank on God, and God yeah. is sending God-given supplies. Yes, Amen. So right. we're going right there in right. The, in the area. We're going to be uh, feet on the ground in the area to pass out to walk around to give. We need your help. We need yes. your help. Yes. We're going to be because if they can't come to us, we're going to right. go to the deal. That's right. We're rolling up our sleeves, Bishop. Each one rolling up our sleeves. We're leaving at six a.m. Tomorrow morning, tomorrow yes, morning, and we're going mm -hmm. at it, and we're just going to try to be a blessing with smiles on our faces and love in our hearts, and we just want to show them some love to let them know that, hey, God said, I see you. Amen. Amen. So, Bishop, we've been talking this week. Oh, about the book of Psalms, mm -hmm. when David said, bless is the man. My and yes, uh, Pastor God. McGee and the, uh, the other ones, we're going to answer your question. Uh, we're going to get to it at the end, but we somebody before they go to work, they they need they want to hear uh, this word. And mm -hmm. and in Psalms one, it says, "Blessed is the man that walk right. not in the oh, counsel of none, God, yeah. nor yeah. stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scum, uh, but his delight is in the delight, law of Bishop. the Lord." Oh my God! And his, in this in this law, he meditate day, day and, and night. night. He shall be. Oh my God! That like right a there. Tree. That right there, Bishop. Planted by. Oh my shall God. Be. Shall be. Shall be. It, it's already telling us what. It's already telling us what. Um, what we gonna be like? My God. If we do this, 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 and this, and if we don't do this, this, and this, this is what you can look forward to. My God. And and you can't break it down no no simpler than that. God is just saying, if you do not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Or stand in the ways of then, sinners. No, sit in this. the seat of the scornful. But your delight is in, in the, the law, law of the Lord. Lord. In this law, do you meditate? meditate day and, and, and if you do that, my God, this is what's going to happen. My God, this is where God can I can I, can I go to go ahead, go last ahead. week's 
Well, we're, Go this ahead. is where God establishes us, Bishop. My God, my this, God. Th this is where the mm. establishment starts. Come on, go he back. established. He said, you'll be like a tree planted by the river. That's being established, my Bishop. Yes. That no matter what comes, you're not moving. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and they always have used for years and years as I grew up, they always talked about that cypress tree. You're going to be like that tri cypress tree because the cypress tree root runs really, really deep. My God. Runs really, really deep. So you're mm -hmm. going to be like that cypress tree. Your roots will run deep. You are going to be established. Mm -hmm. So no matter what comes your way, no matter what hits you, I'm established. My God. My I, God. I'm, I'm established because I did some simple uh, house cleaning for my life. My God. And now I'm established. My God. And, and you see, Co-Pastor, the thing is, when you are established, when, when you are established, when God established you, you don't have to worry about uh, uh, if 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 something happened or will something happen or will I My make God. it? Because I'm established in him. That's right. Now, the, the thing is, I believe uh, we, uh, let me just use this, Co-Pastor. I believe sometimes believers because they know God and because they have the promise of God, oh, I believe sometimes we move too fast. Right. I, I, right, believe right, we, right. I believe sometimes we, we move too yeah. quickly. Okay, what are you saying, Bishop? What do you mean? When you look at this verse, look at this verse. He says, no, sit in the seat of the school, right. but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in this law, do he meditate day and night? Okay, you do all that, uh, and and ye shall be like a tree right. planted by the rivers of right, water. Right. I believe God plants us. Mm. Watch this. Hear me out. I believe God plants us. He bows. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth right. His fruit mm -hmm. in its season. Right, Bishop. Okay, Come now, on, Pastor, Come I need on. you to help me with Come this on, Bishop. because God put this in my spirit. Come on, Bishop. You shall be like a tree uh -huh. planted by the rivers of yeah. water that bring to his fruit in his right. season. Mm -hmm. And his leaf also shall not wither. With mm -hmm. I believe sometimes God will plant us. Come on. But we, uh -huh. we are too antsy, uh -huh. we are too eager, uh -huh. we, are, we are too oh, I, oh God, I, uh -huh. I don't know what word uh -huh. to use, uh -huh. but what adjective to use to help me out. But the thing is, I believe we move too quickly. Move too quickly, Bishop. Watch this, go past it. He plants us. He uh -huh. put us in a secure uh -huh. place because he's trying to bring us somewhere. But just because we have the turbulence that we talked about yesterday, I believe that sometimes we want to get out of the turbulence right. so fast, uh -huh. so, so bad, uh -huh. that we move too quickly uh -huh. and we don't gain altitude. Come on, Bishop. Watch this. Keep, keep walking with me. We don't gain altitude. What are you trying to say, Bishop? I believe uh -huh. that because... Everything that God does, he does, he do it yeah. for a reason. Yeah. I believe when God sent the pandemic, mm -hmm. when, when God's, I say a play, when God sent the plan, the, the pandemic, he says, okay, uh, 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 America, he said the world, uh, he said, I need you to stay put. Right. I need you to stay put right. because I need to do something with you. I need that's to right. take you somewhere. Right. I need y'all to hear my voice. That's right. But then, and, he, and not only that, can I say this, Bishop, that he actually sent out some prophet priests and pastors and, and prophetess that even spoke the word that, 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 that put it out that God. God said to close the door and stay in and don't come out my until God. this pass over. I, but guess what? We were too antsy like you said i really i can see us when we went to shovels and start digging the roots <laughs> that already started to take ground come on had already been started and taking we root, uprooted and ourselves. we uprooted shovels like i'm not staying in this house it's driving me crazy. and we took shovels mm. and we uprooted mm. ourselves and we moved too fast my god and listen that's where i want to be co -pastor. that's what i'm trying to get over to somebody y'all please listen listen with a spiritual understanding uh -huh. because we are trying to go deep with you on this morning i believe we moved too, uh -huh. too quickly. Uh -huh. I believe we got out of the turbulence right. too fast. Mm -hmm. And so now watch this. If you can real, if you can understand what I'm saying, uh -huh. Pastor, this is look like to me, uh -huh. this is what happened. Come on, bitch. Ever since we moved too fast uh -huh. and we started to get out and we right. started, so the government gave us a little leeway. Right. They, they brought us from 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 uh phase three to phase uh -huh. two to well, phase one. All the way down. All the way down. Freedom. Now we can get out. Right. Okay, now it wasn't over, God it wasn't says. Over. 
He says it wasn't we didn't over. Follow the instructions, I, Bishop. I had you locked down for a reason. Uh, I'm still planning. Come on, Bishop. You, you got to stay put for a little come while on, longer Bishop. so you can hear my voice. Come on, Bishop. But because the government opened up a little bit, we got too antsy. Mm. We start to move around so fast. Mm. Now, because we start to move around, God says you're not hearing my voice. So he he allowed that that second strand. Come on, Bishop. He allowed that second on, strand, Bishop. that variance. He uh, allowed that to come back in. Uh, he said, wait, you, you're moving too fast. Moving I too need fast. you to hear my That's voice. Right. Go back in. That's right. So we went back in uh -huh. for a little while. And then the government opened up That's again. Right. So we, watch this, we begin to move out. Yeah. And so now we, we was running crazy. We was getting all uh -huh. out there. So watch this. Go back. Now, this is the kicker. Ever since then, my God, you start seeing all over the world uh -huh. harvest going on. Yes, Bishop. You start yeah. seeing mudslides right. going on. That's right. You start seeing hurricanes. That's right. You start seeing more fires. Uh -huh. You start seeing earthquakes. Man, listen, and war at Come the same on, time. Come on, Bishop. Usually, when we would get in a in a in a war yeah, yeah. or 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 it was, one a thing party, one it was just one thing at one time. Usually, if it was the fires, on, it would just be the fires on, going Bishop. on in California, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and nothing was out here. But Right now, if you pay attention, we got so much going on at the same time God. because God is saying, oh, God, I believe Come on. Somebody, this morning. somebody needs to put down on their screen. God is speaking. God is speaking. God is speaking. Hey, God. God, is God is speaking. That's good. That's God good. God is speaking. Hey, Jesus. He's saying you move too fast. Too fast. I was trying to get you to be concrete right. because... Listen to me. I'm trying to get you altitude right. Right, 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 right. I'm trying to get you to go up, That's but right. you're moving too fast. Go ahead, go you know, you know, come Bishop, back. He wanted to. He wanted to get us ready because he already he already knew what we were going to be faced with. My God. This is nothing what we're saying. Come on. Oh come my back. God, what is yet to come? And yet we still want to go out and we want to start moving, and we're <laughs> missing what he's trying to do. He wanted to keep us in. I'm gonna lock you down. My and while I have you locked down, I'm gonna hear, I want you to hear my voice. My but God. we found a way by being locked down to do our own thing still. Mm. And God said, you're still not hearing me. You're still not listening to my voice. I'm trying to get you ready for what's to come. He said, for us to turn from our wicked ways. He said, for us to pray. He said, for us to change our life around. And yet, we're still doing what we want to do. My we're God, moving too God. fast. My and now, we're starting to see some repercussions. And my words have always, my prayer has always been, God, show yourself Ooh, big. On, and I don't, I don't regret what God is doing. I don't my say, God, why are you doing this because I said it God show yourself enough is enough you 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 have been trying to stabilize us you're trying to you've been trying to plant us and we've been uprooting every time you plant uh, okay I'm going to that every time you plant us we've been uprooting my ourselves god, my god you put us in lockdown and we found a way to get out and now COVID is still all around us, still there. but now the we may, we still, may there. still there, but we have made it the norm, Bishop. Go past it. And God said, you're doing just what you've done in the past. Mm. you made things that wasn't right, right. The norm. Oh my, oh, you don't want me to go there this morning. Mm. You've made things that wasn't right before my very own eyes and you have made it right my god my god my god Co -pastor, we move too fast we move too fast and god is speaking god is talking to us god is telling us listen he, uh, listen i need everyone just to go in your mind Jesus. just to think back just a couple of years ago we would never have when Man, when California was going through the, their fires, when Nevada was going on, through bitch, their fires, we everybody on this end was praying for that. That's end, right. Because it was just one thing That's going right. on. That's right. Help would be going all That's just right, one bitch. way. That's right. Man, but God is speaking so much My and God. He's speaking so loud. To everybody, God. Bishop. Everybody. It's not and, one certain city, one community, one state. God said, I'm speaking to everybody. It's across the board. Oh my he God. said, I'm tired of it. It's across the board. Oh my God. He said, I'm going to do whatever I have to do to grab your attention. My God. Every storm that we ever had, I don't care. When the, when the storm came in late, Charles, y'all have to hear this. When the storm came in late, Charles, co -pastor, you couldn't find gas in the late Charles area. Come on, Bishop. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. you if you would know how bad he this is shot. right now. Come this on, Bishop. Storm has went up. Lord, shot. Geez, it has went up all the way from southwest Louisiana, all the way through New York. Lord have mercy. The whole state. Oh, I mean, and you are in adverse conditions. Oh, my God. This 
the whole area, my God, the whole southern border is, is with what without water, without gas, and with as like, God, can I say something? Electricity. Who, and I know it happened, but as severe as it was, I done traveled all the way up, all the way up, came from through the Gulf Bishop my and God. went all the way up. And where was yesterday, Massachusetts? My oh my God. My God. And running with power. Oh my God. Tell me God is not trying to God say something to us. Something. And then on this end, you have that. Then on the other end, I'm just it's just in America. You have this. And and then you have heat going on Ooh, on the other Jesus. end. And you got people dying of heat. You got people dying of, for, of fires. You got people dying in floods. And you got people dying by storms, Lord Hammers. And then that's not just here. That's all the way that's in right. the other country. That's right, and then we got other that's countries right, coming that's our allies. That's right, man. Oh God, that's right. God is speaking Speak because I believe, Co-Pastor. I believe when He was trying to stabilize that's us, right. when He was trying to get us to stay put. Listen to me. The only reason God sent the plague out uh, to the with the children of Israel is because God wanted to a uh, 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 Pharaoh to hear His voice. He wanted. He wanted. He wanted. He wanted he, come on, Bishop. Come on, Bishop. He wanted him, he wanted him to hear his voice. He wanted him to hear. So God told the children of Israel, he said, stay in your house. Lock yourself in Lock your yourself house. In. Don't come out. Don't come out. He says, "Don't come out." Don't come Lock out. yourself. You put your blood over the doorpost, meaning put your mind on me. That's right. Some of us couldn't. <laughs> some of, some of mm. us. Some of us couldn't help but be like Lock's wife. My God. We had to turn around. Oh, we had to look back. My we God. had to say, "What if?" Oh, I remember when. Lord, I don't want to leave. Lord have mercy. I don't want to be locked out. I, I don't want to be in this house. I need to get out. I need to have some fun. I need to have. I need to breathe. I need to have some air. God say, "Wherever I put you, you stay. Then you stay put. Stay put." But we stay move put. too fast. And when it's time, he says. When when he, he told the children of Israel, he says, "When it's time." You, you, you know, they, they show in the movies, they show in the movies, go faster. They show in the movies, this is what they show in the movies. They show in the movies that that the, uh, they put uh, 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 blood on the doorpost. And after they put the blood on the doorpost, they show in the movies that uh, the death angel passed. And after the death angel passed, the next morning, all the children of Israel oh, was walking out. Oh. That's not how that happened, man. Ah. That's not that ah. happened. That just gives you an over, uh, over, uh, overview of what the manifestation, what went on. That didn't happen overnight. No, man, that didn't happen over. And Pharaoh didn't just wake up the next morning and say, oh, y'all can go. No, they was confined into their homes for a while because they didn't know what was going on. E e Egypt was so mad. Egypt was so, oh, God. Yes, yes, to, yes. So God confined them. God put them isolated. Oh, God, for a while. Oh, Lord, have yes, mercy. He yes. put them isolated. For a while. Mm. Bishop, we, we need to realize he had. Noah and his family come in on, a ark. Come on, come back. Just as God allowed the flood to come. Oh man. He could have take that taken that water and let it subside. <laughs> the next day, Bishop, if he really wanted to. And look, the movie shows that that the water subsided in a week. No, no, no. <laughs> no, it, it took no, some time, man, Bishop. Come but, on. but look, and he could have just because he could have. He could have just did it. The next, like, like when we be at our homes and it floods around in the area, and the next few hours or the next day, all the water has all subsided. Water he could have done that, My but God. God said, I "I'm keeping you closed in for a purpose and a reason. <laughs> the, don't, don't rush it." Even Noah was out the dove because he was ready to get out of here. I need to get out of this boat. I need to take these animals for a walk. I need, I need to do Ooh, something Lord. with myself. God, you have us locked up in a boat, Ooh, just Lord. me and my family and all these animals. I need to get out. Ooh. And he sent a dove out. The dove came back and nothing. Come on now. Send the dove out. Never came back with nothing. So mm -hmm. finally, he sent the dove out. And the dove came back with a twig. Eventually, Eventually. Came back with a twig. Eventually. That now, now, so that My tells God. us God was keeping them closed in for a reason. And this. we won't even take what he's been teaching us mm -hmm. through the word of God. Mm -hmm. And when he puts us in lockdown, we want to move out and we want to do what we want to do. That's the, that's encouraging words to some of us parents that have children that's that's incarcerated. We want to hurry up and snatch them out of that. And God said, I got them in a safe Ooh, zone. I got them in a safe good, place. Pastor. You don't know what I'm that's doing. Good. You might think, oh God, they're incarcerated and it's so bad. No, 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 no. I got them where they can hear my voice. They can literally have find a relationship relationship with me that they will never forget that I was with them when they were locked down. Oh I'm the one that talked to them. I'm the one that encouraged them. I'm the one that was there for them. Oh, no, no. 
Paris, I can't get their attention be. right away. No, no. Because they still with a, a mentality that's right. That's right. of a world's you mentality. Think, you think that, I gotta that, keep yeah. them locked down. I gotta keep you locked down. Mm -hmm. I gotta keep you because you gonna marry that woman. You gonna marry Come that on, man. And when you you wanna pick anybody and uh -huh. you wanna pick uh -huh. anybody, uh -huh. but no, I need you to slow down. Slow down. I need you to hold your uh -huh. role. I, I need you to wait, wait uh -huh. on me uh -huh. because you wanna act. Uh -huh. You wanna act on your hormones. Come on, you yeah, 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 yeah. You mm -hmm. and, and you know. Oh, parents, we want them out. Oh, oh yeah, we oh they done changed because they went to no baby. God knows their hearts. We have brothers and sisters that's locked them. Baby, don't be so quick to want to get them out. Let God be God. Let God do what they have to do. Let God change their hearts and their minds, saturate them with his precious Holy Spirit. Then when they come out, they will be like pure gold. But uh -huh. we are so anxious, Bishop. We move too, too quick. Yes. My God, my God. Listen, listen, God is speaking. And the question came up, how do you stay put? How do you just maintain your integrity mm. in your house? Listen to me. God has given us everything that we need. My God. God want to get us to a place My that God. we can Pray to him oh without, ceasing. without ceasing. Pray without oh ceasing. Talk to him Talk without to him. ceasing. Listen. Oh my God. Know where our help come from. Bishop and co-pastor, how and when do I know it's time to get out? Okay. Okay. Ooh, help to us go back. Help to us, go back help, help and do mission. all these things. <laughs> help How us. and when do I know? Listen, y'all come out. close. Come close. I want to get you to this. You know it's your time is right to come out. Uh -huh. You know it's your time is right for them to come out. Mm -hmm. You know that the time is right for you to get Help married or who to get married to or what to do. This, that, or this or you know the time is right because when you can make a habit mm -hmm. of trusting God, oh my God, that's right, believing God, that's right, Bishop. praying with God, mm -hmm. and having a relationship. That's with right, God. Bishop. You know how each some of you every morning you get up and you do your exercise. Yes. Every single morning you get up and you do your exercise. Oh, every sure. single and you will not leave your house without you exercise. Uh -huh. Just like you get up and brush your teeth every day. Oh, Just sure. like you make oh, sure that your face is clean and your hair That's is like clean. Sure. Listen to me. When you you know it's time when you have that kind of relationship that's right Bishop. that you don't move oh until you hear his voice Ooh, that's good, are you Bishop. with me in here that's good, you don't Bishop. move man listen no i, I can't I, you see you're not at a point come on where you are just listen to god come on you at a point where you still calling your friends, right. listening there to you everybody go, else. There you you go. still at a point right. where if that's you right. if if, if you right. if you pray and God don't tell you nothing, you just go ahead that's on right. and do. That's no, right. so you're not ready. Stay that's put. That's right, Bishop. I'm trying to I'm trying to plant you like a tree by the rivers of water, that's but right. you you can't get that you can bring forth your fruit uh -huh. in its season. Yes. But you so busy moving too fast, Bishop. Help us. That 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 your season don't come, and you get mad at God because your season didn't come, and you prayed and you gave your tithes and you he went to church. Shia. But God says no, you didn't let me plant you. You want to hear from the pastor to let the brother pastor to prosper you, but you never got planted. You can't put the, the cart before the horse. You got to get planted first to get planted. Oh, God, stay put Un until you, 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 you wait on him, until you, you listen for his voice. Don't move until he says, can, 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 can I testify? Yeah, my yeah, you know, one of my biggest, my biggest flaws is I don't like to see. My children and those that's that's connected to me struggle. So I will do whatever I can do. I will I will I will be, be a mule in a horse farm. Whatever I have to do, I will do just I will do just that. So they would not have to go through some of the things that they're going through. But I had to realize that God allows them to go through that because he is trying to stabilize them. He is trying to get them planted because their eyes are on everybody else. Their eyes is on me. And God says, I don't want their eyes on you. Yeah, I know you can be a help to them. I will use you when I need to use it. But I need them to come to me. I need them to call me. I need my them God, to talk to God, me. I need God. them to take time with me because mm. this is where the help will come because it's going to come a day. Uh, Yolanda, you're not going to be there. My God, Your husband won't be there. And all they're going to have is me. And if they're not established, if they're not stable, if they're not rooted and grounded in me, mm -hmm. then they're going to fall for anything. My God. And they're not going to be able to make it. So I had to realize, I'm helping us parents, I had to realize, 
just give them to God and let them go through whatever God has to let them go through so they can be who they supposed to be because we move as parents too fast. My God. And God said somebody just needed to hear that this My morning. God. My God. As parents, we move too fast. Move too fast. Me and Bishop made so many mistakes My God. because we move too fast. Mm-hmm. with our children and our life but God has taught us and now we can let you know mm-hmm. when God placed you somewhere my God stay good come on Colbasta. come on don't come out until he tells you to come out mm-hmm. don't come out until he's he tells you to come out my God my God listen we move too fast we you? move too fast Ooh, Co-Pastor. Mm-hmm. we gotta stay put until we hear his voice you got to hear God's voice you got to hear God's voice listen listen Everything that's going on, God is speaking. You got to know what he's saying to you. Don't worry about nobody else. What's good? What, is, what, what is it that mm-hmm. God's saying to you? Yes. What is it? Yes. What is it that mm. he's saying to you? Yes. My God. God wants to bless you. Right. And he wants you to hear mm. his voice. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for that word this morning, Bishop. Don't move too fast. Mm. Just wait on God. Allow God to be God. Oh my God. Nobody can mm. do me like Jesus. My God. Nobody. Nobody but the Lord. Mm. So this morning, for somebody that's that's been that's been answering to move, to do things what you feel that you need to do, or try to fix a problem, or or or, or get yourself out, or uh, God said, stop and listen to my voice. Mm. Mm. Stop and listen for my instructions. You're not gonna go wrong. If we would follow. The word is the word is written. We would not have some of the problems that we have. Mm -hmm. But because we want to catapult our own self out of the scriptures and run with it the way we feel that we should run, we run into so many problems. Then we want to run to God. But you don't even have to do that. All you have to do is be Mm -hmm. with God from the gate, from the beginning when you walk out. Hey, God, I need you in the forefront to lead me and guide me and take me. My God, where I need to listen, we're going to pray and listen. I know so, so many is asking you about uh, how can you help one? Uh, and you're saying that you don't have uh, some of you saying that you don't have cash app. But what we want to do is go back. I'm just repeating what you said. Hallelujah. Yeah. We want we want you. Listen, we got to pray. We got to pray. And man, we want you to be able to just do the things that you need to do, that you can get in contact with God, that you can be concrete. And, and God wants to move on. Go ahead, right. go that. The easiest way is just to say, God, I surrender. I need to be rooted. I need to be planted. I need to be where you need me to be. And whatever it's going to take for me to get there, God, I need to be there. Yeah, I messed up. I moved too fast. I got out of line. I'm, I'm not in order anymore. My life not in order. Everything is all messed up. Mm-hmm. But God, I need you where you're taking me. I need you in the forefront. I need you to plant me. Plant me and stabilize me that no matter what comes, I'm not I moving. I want my roots to run deep. Uh, uh, What's the song? Cooling water. Still water. Cooling water. Cooling water. And still water. Runs deep. Yeah. Still water yeah. runs deep. I guess go past it. When you're placed in a certain spot, when when when, when you when you when, when you're planted, it's gonna run deep. Mm. God, I need you to run deep in my life. I need to be planted. So much is dependent on me if I'm planted or not. Oh my God. Every every second, every move that I make is dependent on if I'm planted, if I'm rooted, if I'm gonna make, oh my God, if I'm gonna make it. Through the next thing that's coming in my life. If I'm going to make it till next year. If I'm going to make it when next year come. If I'm, if, it depends on if I'm if I'm rooted. If, if my roots are deep down. If I've, I've stopped and if I've taken time to listen to the voice of God. I need to hear God talking to me. I, I need you to tell me my next move, God. God, and I can only do it. By being planted, by following your rules and your laws. And, and what your instructions are for my life. That everything will begin to fall back into place. And God, when you gonna plant me? When you gonna root me? I'm not. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not looking for a shovel. I'm not looking for a hole. I'm not looking for a pair of scissors to cut these roots so I get get to moving. No, God, I'm gonna stay right there. My God. And I'm just gonna bask in your presence. My God. 
listen, we're going to pray, but I want to, Daryl, Daryl, will you do me a favor? Will you put on there, uh, put on there the, the ways to give? Can you put that on there for me uh, so that I we can have it? Because people is asking uh, about uh, yes. because they don't have their cash app. Mm -hmm. Do that for me. Listen, let's pray. Let's go into the word of God. Let's 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 just let's just pray and believe God. We're gonna trust God and we're gonna just ask that God just move by his presence. Even in the midst, even now. Even now. God, my God. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we pray. We ask you, oh God, that you would just move by your spirit, oh God. We ask you, oh Father, that you would just touch right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we know, God, that you are doing something. You're shaking up the atmosphere. Oh God, you're shaking up this world in which we live, God. You're doing something so magnificent. You're doing something so awesome. You're doing something so great, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, that you would move. We pray, God, that you would heal. We pray, God, that you would deliver. We pray, God, that you would just, oh, God, give us, God, staying power. Let us know when to move. Let us know, dear God, when to get out. Let us know, God, how to act. Let us know when to get up, God. Let us know, God, that it's you, God. Let us understand that what, we, what you're doing, God, is taking us somewhere, God, beyond our comprehension, beyond our mindset. Let us know, God, who Father, we don't want to move outside of your will. We don't want to move outside of your presence, God. We want to do those things that you have called us to do, God. We want to walk by faith and not by sight, God. Yeah. We are tired moving in our own way. We are tired moving on our own will. We are tired, tired of going to the left hand and to the right hand. We are tired, God. We are tired. We are tired, Father. And we need you, Master. We need you to just hear us. We need you to help. God, someone, God, who, Father, including myself, all of us here, God, we are desiring, God, that you would give us, your Father, God, what we need. We're designed for you to show us the way. We're designed, God, that we would hear your voice. God, let us know when you are speaking, God, in the name of Jesus. Who, God, let those, the Father, God, who are displaced, let those, dear God, who will find themselves, God, who trying to find a place, God, to stay, trying, living with somebody else, God, who, who God, some people, God, is touching people oh, yeah. that they don't even know, God. They're, oh, Father, they're in places, God laid up with people, God, they have never seen before. Oh, Father, you are speaking. You're trying to bring us together on a call. You're trying to let us see, dear God, that we cannot go backwards. We got to go forward. God, our world was turned upside down, God. Oh, Father, we were starting to hate one another. We were starting to come against one another. Oh, God, and we realized, dear God, you're speaking. You're trying to bring us a cohesiveness yeah. that we are not a black against white and white against black and Asians, oh God, and oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh Father, you are trying to get us to a place that we are all one body in Christ Jesus, oh Father, whether we are Asian, whether we are Arabs, dear God, whether we are Vietnamese, whether we are black, whether we are white, whether whatever ethnicity, Father, we are all one and the same, we all bleed with red blood, Father, in the name of Jesus, you trying to get us to a place that we're going to have to lean on one another. We're going to have to love one another. We're going to have to do right by one another. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we realize that you're speaking, you're speaking, you're speaking, you're speaking. And God, while you're speaking, we pray, God, that we can just understand what you're saying, dear God, while you're speaking. Oh, God, help us right now. Help us in the name of Jesus. Help us, oh, God. Oh, Father, we ask you, oh, God, those that's displaced, God, wherever they're displaced, said, God, those that's need God. Send aid. Send somebody. Send someone God to help out God in the name of Jesus. Oh God please God in the name of Jesus send them dear father. Send them God. Send them oh God. Send them send them oh God. Send them Jesus. Oh father we asking you that you would move. That you would move God in the name of Jesus. That you would move in the name of Jesus. Move oh God. Move God. Move. 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 Move God. 
Move, God, right now in the name of Jesus. Move, move, God, move like never before. Move, God, let us be able, God, to see, dear God, what we never seen before. Do what we never did before, God. Let us be able to understand what we never understood before. God, let us hear your voice, God. Let us touch, God. Let us be able to touch others, God. Let us be able to pull somebody else out, God. And those, dear God, that's lamenting on this morning, God, who are between the trenches, God, between the rock and the hard place. Let them be able, dear Father, God, to know, God, what you're doing, God. God. We call for the four angels of the earth, dear God, to be an aid, God. Let us be a watchman on the wall to know what you're doing in this season. Father, we pray right now, in this season, don't forget about us. In this season, those that's going through turbulence times, Father, we pray, God, who in the name of Jesus, that we don't get weary and well doing. Let us reap. And Father, all those, God, Every person, God, that's giving, every person that's going, every person, all the linemen that's helping out those in every area, all those, God, that left their homes, God, to go help their God, to be an access. Father, all those that's given, whether they're given here, whether they're given in New Jersey, New York, New Orleans, whether they're given in Mississippi, God, whether they're given in Homer, whether they're given in Dulac, God, wherever they're given, God, we ask in you that you would bless them. We ask that you would undergird them. We ask you that you would keep them positive, yes, keep them God. alert. Yes. Father, all the agencies yes, from United God. Way, dear Father God, all the way down, dear God, Habitat for Humanity, yes. dear God, Harvest, uh, dear Sacred Harvest, dear yes, Father God. God. Oh, Father God, every person, each one reach one. God, every, every place that's given, Father, we ask you right now in the name of Jesus that you would touch those entities. Right. Don't let them get weary and well doing, yes, but allow them to reap. Yes. In yes, Jesus' mighty God. name, we pray. Yes, God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. We pray God's blessing. Yes. We pray God's blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. God, we just thank God. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We just thank God this morning for that word. We thank God this morning for that for the prayer from Bishop. Remember this weekend that we want to go out. We want to do whatever we can do. We want to love up on somebody else and let them know yes. that God is still God. My God. Um, uh, remember that God loves you best. We love you from Genesis to Revelations. Love, 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 love. All participants are unmuted. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. And we said that we was going to come back at the end and tell you uh, about, we are going to be, um, for those of you who want to go, uh, Co-Pastor, you have that, uh, uh, the, um, it is, let me see. We're going to be at 7482 Main Street, Homer, Louisiana. Co pastor is going to, go, somebody can put that 7482 Main Street, Homer, Louisiana. <clears throat> That's where we are going to be in Homer, 7482 Main Street, 7482 Main Street, Homer, Louisiana. Uh, that's where we are going to be set up at. We're going to be there at 6. If you can put that with it, Co Pastor, we're going to be there at 6 a.m. Uh, well, we're going to leave from here at 6 a.m. We're going to get there around 7, 7.30 uh, in the morning. Uh, we are going to be there. Um, and, and those of you that want to come out and be a help, we want you to just come out and be a help uh, to us there. Uh, it's 742 Main Street, Homer, Louisiana. Um and, and, and brothers and sisters, we're going to be there all day Saturday. Mm. We're going to be there uh, all day Saturday. Uh, and when Six o'clock. Is that what I'm talking? What? Six o'clock. We're going to be there. No, we're gonna yeah, seven. we're gonna we're gonna leave from here at six o'clock. We're gonna be there about seven thirty. So that's trying to get another hour of sleep. Okay, we're so gonna I be there. We're gonna be there by <laughs> seven thirty in the morning. We it's because it's gonna take us an hour and a half to get there. We asking those of you that's going, please fill up your vehicles before you go. Yes. Fill up your vehicles before you go because you will not be able to find gas. Um, so we 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 need. Like I was saying earlier, we're trying to bring water. If you have uh, uh, um, uh, where you want to place it, uh, two, uh, uh, 
20315 Highway 182, Generate, <laughs> Louisiana, 20315 Highway right, guys. 182, Generate, Louisiana, or 405 BK Stevens Drive in Abbeville, Louisiana. Uh, 405 BK Stevens Drive, Abbeville, Louisiana, or uh, 2. If you, I was getting ready to say 20315. <laughs> Uh, Highway 182, Generate. Now, Bishop, if you forget our address, like you can't remember those, then you just not gonna be a dwelling place for you anymore. You know, if you would only, rem if you would only know how many addresses I have to remember. Lord That's okay, Jesus. Bishop. It's Friday. We give you a pass. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Um, so we we ask you, we ask you that you you can go in at those two places. Uh, it's going to be open, so you can drop off whatever you desire yes. to drop off. Yes. Uh, those of you who send in monetary donations, yes. uh, you can uh, everything that you give, don't worry, whether you send it to the cash app, send it to uh, uh, Gimify, uh, or, or whether you send it uh, by PayPal, it's all tax deductible. We will send you a uh, form from each one, reach one uh, uh, at the time. Um, at the, we can do it now or at the end of the year when we send out all the stuff. So it is taxable, deductible. Uh, and listen, we are a 501c3 uh, organization. Each one reach one. What you are, uh, what you are affiliated with is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. And what we do, we pray. And we're not going to let no government or nobody else stop us from praying. Amen. We are here to be a uh, help each one. Reach one. Amen. Amen. We thank God. We just want to give a shout out for all of those that have a, that had a birthday uh, in that past August and that's walking into September. We have Sister Ursula Caesar that has a birthday on today. Happy birthday, sweetie. And to all those that didn't mention it, happy birthday to you guys. Have an awesome day on today. Remember, hug up love on somebody. <clears throat> Give them a text message, a call, or a drive by, and let them know that God loves them and we love them too. Uh, love you guys. And also, I want to uh, put this in that uh, if you <clears throat> if you are if you go if you have any questions, comments, concern, you can go on Co Pastor Stevens' page. You can go on Co Pastor Stevens' page on my page and leave a message on hers or mine. And if you leave it on each one, reach one. Uh, don't worry, you have. We have uh, Sister Keisha and Brother Daryl who's going to take that message and they're going to uh, just do whatever needs to be done, whatever you want to know, if you need directions or if you want to uh, find out about uh, uh, donating or what have you, they're going to be able to do that for you. Look, it's this Saturday. All your roads lead to Homer. God bless you. God keep you. You. <laughs>